Now justice, more than a year later, one local family is beginning to get the closure they've been praying for after a loved one was killed in a hit and run. 29-year-old Bradley Kirk was killed walking home from the grocery store in April of last year. Now 28-year-old Joseph Wooten faces charges of leaving the scene of a crash resulting in death and DUI manslaughter. News 4 Jack's reporter Ashley Spicer is live from the crash scene on West Beaver Street. And Ashley, you spoke to Bradley Kirk's mother about this arrest. What did she tell you? You know, it's really come full circle. I remember doing the interview with Sophia Kirk a year ago when she lost her son here along West Beaver Street. In fact, this is a memorial left for Bradley. Sophia Kirk lost her son, Bradley. She has these photos to remember him by. A hit and run driver killed Bradley while he was walking home not far from his house. The driver didn't stop, which Kirk says makes her blood boil. And like I said last time that he's a monster and I will live up to that because you know what? This person is a monster. He should have never left my son like he did on the side of the road that he did. Any human being should have stopped and at least tried to help and stay there. No matter what the consequences was going to bring you, you should have stopped and you should have made sure that he was going to get the help that he could have had. Evidence at the scene led police to issue a warrant for Joseph Wooten. The Kirk family decided it would take matters into its own hands to find him. A Facebook post led the family to a restaurant where the suspect worked. When they saw him there, they called police. Deputies arrested Wooten on Wednesday in Clay County. He was transferred to Duval County and went before a judge Friday morning. Kirk says while nothing will bring her son back, she is grateful to God that Wooten is finally behind bars. It's really hard for us to get up every morning to go to work and knowing that he's not there. We didn't get to hear it, see his smile or his you know, his blue eyes, you know, no speaking to him. I actually have a tape recording on my phone that I actually play and I listen to his voice. And so it's like extremely hard to know he's not here. But I'll tell you this now, because that we did get him, there's a big relief. And now there's going to be justice for Bradley. Kirk was a father of three. The youngest was a year old at the time of his death. That report from Ashley Spicer. Wooten's bond is set for $175,000 and he will appear before a judge again August 16th. Kirk's mother says she will be there and hopes to see justice for her son.